Good evening. This is Lisa Barry and my good friend and, and, and wonderful woman of God, uh, Abby. And, and Abby and I are here tonight, uh, really just moving in the spirit of God, moving in, in a place that God wants us to go in intercession in order to bring about uh, God really moving on behalf of re very, uh, you know, relevant and dangerous global issues. War Room for the Nations is a program that we air every Friday evening because we believe in corporate prayer and this is the hour that we need to launch corporate prayers as it says in revelation 8 and as we do that our prayers come up as incense and then god looses his angelic host and the spirit uh you know that that is all over us as people that love god and are saved to go into the, those places and make changes hallelujah god is a proactive god but he wants to hear from us so tonight i we encourage you to pray with us as we bring up these very serious issues that need prayer praise be to god so we want to welcome you viewers we want to, you to invite your friends and do share these broadcasts because this is the hour we're in the end times people of god that we need to pray more than ever because prayer is the only thing it can really change things and transform things across the nations of the earth. A welcome, Abby. Thank you for joining me tonight. Yeah, Praise be to name, God. Name, yeah. uh, most of you know Abby from Testimony Time. She's such a blessing. Hallelujah. And and uh, so and a mighty intercessor. So it's always a, a real pleasure and blessing to have you on this Thank broadcast you. too. Thank Hallelujah. You, Thank you, Lisa. You know, tonight uh, we felt an urgency, both Abby and I, I did, uh, viewers, in reference to what's happening in the Ukraine, uh, particularly in reference to two soldiers that have just received uh, a death penalty that was issued uh, by the by the Russian military. Uh, these men are family men, one by the name of Aiden Aslin, and he's only 28 years old, and another uh, man by the name of Sean Pinner, who's 48. And uh, they were convicted by the Russian uh, military for taking action towards a violent seizure of power uh, on a uh, count of, of really self-proclaimed uh, uh, the uh, Donetsk uh, People's Republic. So in other words, uh, most of, of uh, people believe it, it's, it's actually a sham. It, it's not something that should stand. And anyway, uh, there is a, they're prisoners of war and there is a Geneva Convention that should protect them from things like a, you know, as POWs from things like a death sentence. So we've got to really look a little deeper here. So we know that there's, there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, angst between the Russians and, and certainly what's happening in the Ukraine and the supply of weaponry that has been supplied not only by the UK, but many nations, uh, you know, really across the UN. Uh, but but I wanted to dig a little deeper so we understand and perceive of, of spiritual implications, things that actually have happened in the past. We have to look at those things because unrepentance can actually, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, violence that has crossed over the boundaries of land masses and nations can actually cause there to be an open door for demonic uh, presence across a nation. So I, I've spoken about this on on actually um, another program, which is which is certainly on Saturdays that we have miracles and prayer, uh, because we have really dug very deeply about what's happening, uh, you know, in the Ukraine and what has happened in the past. And I wanted to speak tonight again uh, by or about rather a, a woman by the name of Olga now Olga was a queen that that was over uh, that area of landmass in the Ukraine specifically Kiev because uh, she's known as Olga of Kiev in about 945 until 960 and she was uh, very very ruthless uh, with the Russians of that time because her husband uh, wanted to go and establish his kingship and it went into the Russian nation or it was it was not called the Rus Russian nation there it was called the Drevlin tribe and her husband went there to establish his kingship which he there there his 
uh, dad, his, who was the king, his father had died. <laughs> there had been some Drevlins coming in and trying to take over the land masses, and they'd been burning villages and that sort of thing. So he went to them on a diplomatic mission to say, well, I'm the rightful king of this land, as is my queen, Olga. And, but he went on his own, and when he did that, the Drevlins killed him. They murdered him uh, in, in the Russian capital of that time, or the Drevlin capital. So she then had a very, very much, she became queen, and she had very much a heart of vengeance. And, and so from there, she, she actually uh, made it her life mission to kill as many Drevlin diplomats and uh, royals as possible. And so this is uh, something that, that was well over a thousand years ago. But if we, you look at the history down the line, this same amount of uh, vengeance and killing and, and injustice, I, I mean, to the point presently uh, to this day, uh, the Russians are leaving uh, bodies with, without even the decency to bury them. I mean, the, and they're run, they're they're running over them with tanks. I mean, there's such a, a such a lack of respect for human life and the dignity of human life that 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 can only be rooted in the demonic because it's the enemy that wants to kill, steal, and destroy. So this is what we need to really tackle tonight. We need to bind this thing. I believe it's it's a rooted in conspiracy that's happened from the time of Olga of Kiev and the Drevlins when this killing began. And, and it's just been almost a one-upmanship, more killing and more killing back and forth. And it's got to stop. And, and we've got to declare God's sovereignty in this situation. Oh this is a terrible situation, isn't it, uh, Abby? And, and again, it's it's a generational curse that's come down through you know a thou over a thousand years. Yes, that's 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 right. And we can say the reasons why um, a lot of the situations we're in now, um, uh, especially with Ukraine, Russia, we can see um, the you know the situations we're in now, where it originates from. So. Um, <clears throat> And it's really so sad, really, because um, uh, uh, that we, as we intercede tonight to ask for God to forgive us uh, for forgiveness for the land and uh, for, for every defilement that's been offered against, uh, you know, every bloodshed for the Lord to actually come in tonight. And as we raise our voices up to intercede for, for, the, for, for, for the nation uh, of Ukraine, of Russia, that the Lord in his mercy will answer our prayer and you know come to our aid as we um persevere and i'm uh, you know thank thank you that you were able to um bring this to light to share this with us so we know at least the, the you know the background because sometimes um a lot of things is happening that uh, in the supernatural when god released such to us then we're able to persevere and push and push uh, 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 uh as we are now tonight in the war room against the kingdom of darkness that the light of god will come and shine and god will heal the land um, from the abominations of the past. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, when, when we're talking about uh, this kind of thing happening, uh, it's, it's rooted in so very deep, and the, there are certain things that actually exacerbate it. So we also learned through some prayer mapping, some spiritual prayer mapping, that there had been a, a large amount of uh, witch covens, but one in particular in Russia uh, that had prayed for the empowerment of Vladimir Putin and his regime uh, in their military campaigns in in the Ukraine, and it was very, you know, I'm I'm talking a year and a half after when he when he went in and invaded the Ukraine. So so we are talking about uh, you know continual witchcraft as well that that has to be addressed. So when this kind of thing goes on, so look at let's let's look at this kind of with with our, our thinking hats on. We've got witchcraft that's continuing to empower a regime that is operating in a demonic agenda, and then over and beyond that, there is an unrepentant land on both sides of the Russian side and actually the Ukrainian side. Uh, then then what you've got is actually a conspiracy of demonic things going on. So I wanted to just pray tonight in reference to 
uh, you know, and, and really look at scriptures concerning what a demonic conspiracy is. You know, everybody knows the term conspiracy theory, but this is an actual demonic conspiracy when there's more than one thing going on to cause there to be a perpetuation of evil over a land. And, and the Lord says we need to pull down, uh, you know, and, and, and really cast down 2 Corinthians 10, 5, every vain imagination and high thing that exalts itself against the thoughts of God. And we know, I've, I've said it for a long time and proclaimed it, that, the, that th this is supposed to be, Eastern Europe is supposed to be an open door for revival. And yet the enemy has made it a killing field, you know, where, where, you know, where people of, of all walks of life are being killed, I, I mean, horribly uh, by a regime that's operating in, a, in demonic conspiracies and, and, and uh, a spirit of murder and destruction from, from years and years and years. So let's look at some scriptures. If, if we look at, um, you know, it, it, of course, we know the one, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. The gates and plans of hell shall not prevail against us. And, but in regards to demonic uh, uh, conspiracies, we, we need to actually do uh, pray prayers like Psalm 55, 9, which says, destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. So something that actually perpetuates a demonic conspiracy is uh, witchcraft uh, mm -hmm. chanting, because it, it says in Proverbs 18, 21, that there's a power of life and death in the tongue. So it's, if we pray this, which we will uh, destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, then it stops them. It binds uh, their power in the name of Jesus, because we are standing on the word of God. And and if we we also we we declare Psalm sixty four to hide uh, the innocent uh, from the secret secret counsel of the wicked, and, and we need to hide the innocent. We need to be praying that way. We need to de be decreeing and declaring life over the Ukraine, life over Russia, and alignment uh, with the with you know, God's heart for those nations. There's many good people in both. Right? Just because there's an evil regime uh, causing this kind of carnage uh, in power over Russia, it doesn't mean there aren't good people in Russia that God, That's of course, right. he, that he loves. He absolutely loves them. So we've got to pray that the, that the evil that, that uh, in the high places is is cast down. Yeah. And, and I think really, Abby, We've got to think about it like this. We've got to think about it like Gideon. I mean, Gideon was in was in a time and an hour where he was there. There were Asherah poles everywhere, and people were engaging in idol worship and witchcraft. And the Lord, the angel of the Lord, spoke to to him and said, "You've got to start pulling these things down because." It's 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 perpetuating the evil because people are going to these high places with the Asherah poles. And when they're chanting and engaging in the witchcraft and the idol worship, it's continuing the evil that's happening to Israel. So it was opening up the doors for the Midians to come in and, and attack and attack. And, and actually, this went on for hundreds of years. This is happening to them, not just for like two years. This is happening for hundreds of years. And so the Lord had had enough and he raised up Gideon, although he wasn't high in confidence in the beginning. But God worked with him until he was obedient. And I, this is what we have to think about. These things that are planted in the ground and have been established, uh, we need to really cast down those things. We need to demolish the strongholds and those things that are continuing to perpetuate evil over those nations and over that, that bit of ground, that, that part of the world. So we have to pray really intelligently concerning this, definitely. Yeah. That's right. That's I mean, there's some wonderful scriptures, isn't there, about pulling down strongholds? Strongholds, yeah. yes. Um, I've got some as well, so which I would um intercede with as well. Um, in pulling Good. down the, the, uh, the destruction. Yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. All right. So let's let's begin to pray about this. And we we want to just cover these men, these soldiers, because there's a, a Moroccan soldier as well. I wanted to just speak out their names because I think it's important we do speak out their name. The Moroccan national's name is Sandun Graham, and he's convicted right alongside uh, Mr. Aslan and Mr. Pinner. So I'd like to pray for him to be set free as well. These men are believed by the Russians to be mercenaries that are fighting with the Ukrainian troops. 
Uh, I mean, they went there because they wanted it. They they didn't believe from what I read. They didn't believe in, in, in what they were doing to the innocent children and, and towns and cities of the Ukraine. And they went there to help, not to be mercenaries. What's the name of the other guy from... Um his name is the Moroccan gentleman is I'm just getting his name now. It is uh, I'm just finding it. Sorry, Sam Dune Braham. B R A. Okay, Sam yeah, Sam Dune Braham. Okay, so let's fine. start to pray. And, 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 the other, and the others are Aiden and um Aiden, Aiden. Aslan and Sean Pinner. Yes. Okay, Sean, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, there, yeah. All right. So let's yeah. let's pray and believe God to uproot and start bringing this what this terrible carnage into a place of justice, into a place of God's mercy. And so, Father God, we we thank you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for this great honor uh, to bring what is happening before you. And and Father, we know, uh, Lord, that there are things perpetuating the evil. Father, you've shown us by the spirit that there are demonic conspiracies that have originated there from over a thousand years ago. And, and Lord, we start out with Olga, Father God of Kiev. And Father, what was happening back then, Father God, where we're, there, there seemed to be this vengeance between these two nations that started out, out and are rooted in a murderous intent, a, a, a demolishing horrible a demonic spirit a beast that has been released to cause so much carnage uh across time across generations father god and lord we we know that this is uh the the lord the uh appalling spirit this is the spirit of death that that lord comes from the sun father god comes from actually worshiping uh the demonic father god and so lord we just take authority over this spirit of death that is okay. mentioned in revelation 9 and we say cease and desist all maneuvers against the ukraine cease and desist all maneuvers against russia in jesus name Cease and desist all maneuvers against Sand Dune Braham, against Aiden Aslan, against Sean Pinner in the name of Jesus. We we take authority. We say 2 Corinthians 10.5 stands against you. And we, we are casting down every high thing that is trying to exalt itself through demonic conspiracy against these men, against the nations of Russia and the Ukraine in Jesus' name. And we say cease and desist. We bind your power in the mighty name of Jesus, according to the word Matthew 16, 18, and 19, and we lose uh, justice. We lose peace over Amen. the land. Amen. Father, I ask for reconciliation of the land as you forgive uh, the prior uh, terrible things that they have done one to another, Father God. Lord, Amen. I know that there are even now, Lord, those voices, those people that have been killed, the martyrs that are crying out from the ground, Father God, and even now, Lord, there's such a loss uh, of dignity and, and, Lord, loss of respect for human life, Lord. They, they don't even have the decency to bury uh, these, these people that have been murdered in this day and hour. Father God, we cry out to you, Father God. We cry out to you. We come into your throne room and we ask the Father, you will not let this go on any longer. The Father, you will intervene. The Father, we know it says in your word that we can enter into your throne own room, Father God. Father, you said in Revelation, Father, chapter 3, uh, to the churches, the church of Sardis, Father God, that, that and, and Laodosia, that, Father God, if, if they operated in a place of obedience, and Father, they can enter into your throne room, that, Father God, that they can eat of the tree of life, Father God. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, we, we, we bring to your remembrance, Lord, uh, the people, the innocent people that have died because of of this demonic conspiracies down through the ages and even to this day, Father mm. God. And we ask that you would make every crooked path straight, Father Amen. God. In the name Amen. of Jesus, Father Amen. God. And Lord, we just speak your word in Psalm 64 too. We're, and we ask that you would hide the innocent from the secret yes. counsel of the wicked, Father. Yes, we bind every witchcraft and idolatrous chant that Amen. would perpetuate 
people with the power of life and death in their tongues. And Father, we ask that you would send, Father God, you would send by your sovereign uh, uh, arm, right arm, Father God, destruction where you can define, divide their tongues, Father God, as is written in Psalm 55, 9, Father God. Lord, we ask that you would arise and let the enemy be scattered. And Father, that you would not root the evil that has caused this carnage for over a thousand years. Enough is enough, I say, yes, in the name Lord, of Jesus. Yes, Lord, but amen. I stand in agreement corporately with those that stand with me and ask that you would cause there to be in yes. a redemption of the land, a forgiveness yes, of the Lord. land, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, to bring this evil regime to justice, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I ask that you would look and, and, and release, Father God, your angel armies to bring about justice, Father God. Yes, it's not enough, Father God, for, for uh, them just to look, Father, help them to act, Father, release their power to act Amen. and intervene on behalf of these people that are being Amen. kept in a place, Father God, of perpetual destruction, Father God. Amen. Well, we pray for even the bombing and the tanks and, and, and the tank action and the aircraft and, Father God, the... the uh, the many, uh, Lord, uh, different types of, of, of military uh, vehicles and weapons of mass destruction, Father God, mm, in the yes. name of Jesus. And we ask that you would not allow these things to attack any more the cities that, that Russia is trying to take hold of and Amen. possess in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, I ask in Jesus' name that you would turn the enemy back into his own net. Amen. Lord, truce, Father God, said that even what's happening to these men is a sham judgment, Father God, based on no legitimacy, Father God. Lord, I, I bind every spirit of deception, Father God, that's trying to operate and even operate in the way of payback against the British for supplying weapons, Lord. In the yes, name Lord. of Jesus, I command this thing to be cast uh, off and cut off in Jesus' Amen. name. Let the enemy fall into his own net in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Father, we cry out for your great mercy, Father yes, God. In Lord. the name of Jesus. Lord. Father, we receive the plan of God for the destiny of the Ukraine, for the destiny of Russia. Father, we ask Amen. that you would dispatch that plan, that Amen. you would cause it to be peace and not evil that abides there, Father Amen. God. That you would release a whirlwind, Father God, to scatter those who conspire against the, the innocent people of these yes. lands, Father God. Amen of Jesus yes, and let those who devise in their hearts uh, Lord to do evil let them be changed and transformed Father Amen. God I Amen. ask that you would cause them to have a conscience Father God Lord Amen. that they would stop what they're doing that they would stop what they're doing that no Amen. violence would go forth from Amen. their hands Father God Amen. let there be confusion in the camps of the enemy Amen. and let them arise Father God into a place Father God of repentance Father Amen. God Amen. and looking to you Father God to change their lives Father, just as you yes, did for soul of Tarsus, Father God, yes, you do these perpetrators, Father God. When you said to Saul, 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 why are you persecuting me? Father God, as these people die unjustly, Lord, they are being mm. persecuted. They are innocent, Father God. Yes, let your transforming light, Father God, yes, be upon these nations and let there be change, Father God, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we thank you, Father. Let there be a quick and swift resolve, Father God. That they, Lord, just as you sent angels to, to release Peter, let these men be released in Jesus' name, Father. We declare and decree that they shall be released with justice, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that every plan and device of the enemy to take their lives shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus, Father. And Lord, we speak that with the word of our testimony and with the blood of the the lamb that they Amen. are covered by the blood of the lamb Amen. and lord during this time of incarceration that they would look to you for their provider their Amen. rescuer father god Amen. in the mighty name of jesus Amen. let salvation be theirs father god this is mighty name yes we lord. Thank you, father we thank you bless you um, you. Yes, Father Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for the lives of these precious ones. They are yours, O oh God. We want to pray, Lord Jesus, for it suddenly. We want to pray for an encounter, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we mm -hmm. release the blood of Jesus over them. We pray for calmness. 
oh God, in their life, Father. We ask you, Lord Jesus, Father, and we stand in agreement as Lisa has prayed, Father, that just as you have released Paul and Silas and earthquake and the prison shook, Father, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus, hear the cry of your children as we intercede, oh Lord, for these precious people, for Sandro, okay. for Aiden, and for Sean, Pina, Lord Jesus, all these precious, uh, all these precious soldiers, Father, we know this is a revenge against not 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 just against these three people, but against nation. This is the the, the tricks of the enemy. What uh, the Russians, Father God, are doing. For Father Lord, we stand, Lord Jesus, we pray for a cleansing of the land. We say Psalm fifty-one verse seven: "Say, purge, purge the nations, Father, with ice." and it shall be clean. Wash them, Father God, and they shall be whiter than snow. We pray, Father God, for a cleansing of the land, Lord Jesus. We pray, Jesus, Father, that in yeah. Psalm 51, verse 8, that make us hear joy and gladness. Make yeah. the people of Ukraine hear the joy of gladness, Father God, that out of this world, Father God, they them walk in victory. We pray yeah. for victory, Father God. We pray for reconciliation, Father God, that the bones which thou hast broken will rejoice. The Ukraines will rejoice. Whatever is left of the, mm -hmm. of the of the city of the country, Father, we pray for an abundance, O oh God, mm -hmm. of your mercy upon the land, your mercy upon the nation, Father God. As we uproot whatever it is that the enemy is planning to do, we come against the devices of Satan, Father. Yes. You said that we come one way, they will flee seven ways in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Isaiah yes. 24. Verse 12 says, We rebook all destruction from the gates in the name of Jesus. Every yeah. destruction of yes. the uh, of Putin regime, Father God, we, 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 we pull it down by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bind and re, 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 every spiritual God that is destroying yeah. nations, bringing war, bringing, bringing, uh, uh, a disappointment bringing a, a disunity father god we bring unity into Yay, this, awesome. russia we bring unity father god between the russia and the ukraine father god almighty we plead for your mercy let Yay. your mercy prevail oh god as we enter the straight gate of god and we will not they will not walk in the path mm -hmm. of destruction father we bind the spirit of mammon father that leads to destruction according to first mm -hmm. timothy 6 verses 9 and 10 every spirit of mammon father we bring Yay. this to bring her down by the name of Jesus, just as you brought the, the idol of Asherah that was destroyed, Father God, we destroy every power of darkness prevailing yes, over the land. Jesus of Nazareth, Lord, we Jesus, break Father, all the curses of destruction. Every cause we renounce every pride, every stubbornness, Father God. We rescue the souls of your children. We rescue the souls of the people of Ukraine. The blood of those that have died, Father, the blood of the innocent, Father. Mercy on the women, on the children, on the men, Lord. We pray for your mercy, Father God Almighty. Intercede, O oh God, Father, because we know we're not just fighting a Putin, but we're fighting the demonic peace. Yeah, but we're not fighting flesh and blood, but every principalities and powers of darkness. We stand in unity, Father, as the voice of your children, Father, the voice of your intercessors are crying out this this night today, Father. Oh Jesus, your mercy. Oh Jesus, your suddenly. Oh Jesus, your encounter in the land. Bring revival, Lord. Revive this nation, Father God, from the pit of hell. Revive Ukraine, Father God, from the destruction of mass destruction, Father. Revive your nation, Father. Lord Jesus, we destroy yes. the destroyer cannot destroy this prosperity of the land. Every destroyer of the enemy, you will not destroy this land. Because this nation belongs to Jesus. This nation belongs to Lord. Yes. We speak purity. We speak freedom. We speak we speak every yoke of the enemy be broken right now, Lord. We bind up every bridges, oh Lord. Let every bridge be stopped in the name of Jesus. We pray for yes. protection, a edge of protection, Father God, around these boys, Father God. Lord, Love trust them, Father God. Sandal, Aiden, Sean Pina, Jesus, yes. Jesus, yes. Jesus, in your mercy, Lord. By your mercy, Father God, we ask you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we pray. You close up any breach, Father God, that the enemy that will give Satan any demon access in the name of Jesus. Close the bridge, Lord. Close it, Father God. We close it by the blood of your son, Jesus. We close it by the prayer of many, Father God, that are rising up Thank to help us. Lord Jesus, as we bind every spirit of darkness and everything, oh God, that raises itself against the plan of God, against yes. the imagination, imagination that exalts itself.
have against the knowledge of God, down by the blood of Jesus, yes. as we stand in unity, Father God. Lord Jesus, you say you honor your word, of God, over your name, Lord. Honor your promises, honor the prayer of the saints, yes. honor the prayer of the innocent, those who have died innocently from this world, Father Lord. Please, Lord, we cry, Lord, the blood of the innocent crying up from the ground. Jesus, in your mercy. Jesus, your mercy, Father God. Prevail, O oh God, over the plan of the enemy. Prevail over the destruction of Satan as we stand in unity, crying out to you, Father God Almighty. Have your way, Lord, your mess. Let the will of God prevail. In Jesus, holy and mighty, and we are prayed and stand. Amen. 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 We thank you, Father. Amen. I just, the Lord just pressed upon me to read um, in Isaiah chapter 26. Uh, and and uh, it, it's actually in verse 19. It says, you have enlarged uh, the nations, Lord. You've enlarged the nations. You've gained glory for yourself. You've extended all the borders of that land. Lord, they came to you in their distress. And when you disciplined them, they could barely whisper a prayer. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. There are people praying, Father God, that you're aligning that place, Father. You're bringing peace to that place, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, just, uh, Lord, as, as uh, the disciple, the apostle Andrew went there to establish signs, wonders, and miracles during uh, directly after J Jesus, your son, ascended into heaven. And Lord, established, Lord, your will there with signs, wonders, and miracles and brought order, Father God, by your spirit and even the order of Melchizedek to those areas where they could see the glory of God through this man of God that, Father, Father God, even then you rooted in, uh, Father God, your desire for that land, Father God, and your desire for mercy upon the peoples of those lands, Father God. Lord, let not his work be for vain, in, in, be va in vain, Father God. Lord, this man of God you sent there because of your great compassion for the people. Uh, as far as Siberia, Father God, uh, in Russia, Father God, Lord, by the Black Sea, Father God, in the Ukraine. Father, it is your will, Father God, that these uh, that these uh, wonderful people, Lord, are, are no longer causing carnage and destruction one to another. Father God, I call a halt in the mighty name of Jesus, of this continual killing in Jesus' name. And Father, I ask that you would bring peace. I declare and decree, Father God, according to your word in Revelation 10, Lord, I, I prophesy, Lord, as, as the angel stands on the land and the sea, let the angel of the Lord be released to stand, Amen. Father God, and stop the carnage in Jesus' name. And Father, let every nation and king, Father, and, and tongue and people group uh, align with your perfect will, Father God, for peace across that land, for for uh, an ordering, Father God, uh, for, with the kingdom of of God, Lord, that the kingdoms of the of the world that are established and the the, the demonic that is established there will be, uh, Lord, the kingdoms uh, in your hands, Father God, in Jesus' name, as you say in your word, Revelation eleven. Father, it's time; it's past time, and I ask that you would intervene in the name of Jesus. Your great sovereign arm would release, Father God, whatever's necessary to do this for them, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we give you all praise, Father. We give you all praise. Your glory, your glory. Bless your holy name. Yes, 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 Lord Jesus. We know that the enemy has created this wicked imprisonment, Father God, to dishearten and to silence, uh, to, 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 to silence the British government, Father. But we just pray, Lord, as you have came in for Saul and Silas whilst they prayed and lifted their voices, oh God, in sacrifice of praise and prayer. Refuse to give in to discouragement. We will not give in to yes. discouragement, Father. We offer sacrifices of prayer, Lord. We offer sacrifices of intercession, Father. We offer yes. sacrifices tonight, Lord. And so many others, oh God, who are rising at this hour, Father. Arising in this hour, Lord lifting our faces up to you because yes. we don't want to know our help comes from our help comes from you you are the creator yes, of the heavens father. and the earth and you see the affairs of this world of this nation father your eyes not your eyes is to and fro to everywhere father lord we will, not, 
silent. We will not stay silent, Father God, as we lift our hearts and souls and prayers, oh God, in offering to you tonight, Lord. And, uh, and as, as many people that are standing, oh God, with, 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 with this, with this um, barbaric uh, uh, decision, Father God, to mother these people, Father, we come against it by Yay. the blood of Jesus. Oh, and we know that, that, that you will honor your promises, oh God, as we speak Yay. the power of life in our tongue, Father God. We speak life, we speak victory, we speak a breakthrough, Lord Jesus, Father, yes. by your mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, Holy Spirit of God. Arise, O oh God, with Yay, your aid and your assignment, Father God. Nothing, Yay. absolutely nothing is impossible for you, Lord. Amen, and Father. Stand, and we believe and we trust in your Father God, that Lord Jesus, there will be you will rise in victory against Amen. this justice, Father. In Jesus' name we pray and agree. Amen. We agree, yes. Thank yes. you, Father. People of God, keep praying concerning this. You know, the more corporate prayer on this, the better. We are going, I sense by the Spirit of God supernaturally intervening even now for these POWs. I saw angels. I saw a release of Holy Ghost rain coming down. I'm talking about heavenly rain, which means the anointing of God to intervene. Uh, so keep praying because that empowers, uh, the, you know, the, the, the proactive arm of God in this situation. So he needs to hear from us. We need to continue to travail in the spirit for not only what's happening to these three men, which is terrible enough, but what's happening to the victims in the in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds across the Ukraine. It's got to stop. It's got to stop in the mighty name of Jesus. And there needs to be God's order that is established once and for all in this nation. The killing's got to stop, and it will stop in Jesus' name. Amen. And we thank you, Father. We give you all praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We also, last week, were speaking about uh, cruelty to children and how it is very, very sadly something that, that is is fairly prominent uh, in, in behind closed doors in UK society. Uh, and and uh, tonight, I wanted to just speak, the, I was as I was praying, the Lord kept bringing children before me again. Mm. And I wanted to speak about the, the larger uh, numbers of children that are in care in the UK. And it's something that can be prayed about. You know, we, you know, this nation and certainly the next generation do not need to be walking around in an orphan spirit. And, and an orphan spirit is something that causes uh, people to feel so displaced. And you might say, well, why is everything a spirit? Let me tell you something. When there's been, when kids have, have uh, not had their parents taking care of them and they're mm -hmm. brought into a system where they are not nurtured in the fashion that God always intended and they feel abandoned, it's going to open up the door then for the enemy to come in and prey right. upon them. So this is what I'm talking about. It starts out in the flesh, you understand. It starts out with emotions in a very bad place. And then the enemy comes to torment. And this is why it goes into an orphan spirit. So I just wanted to just talk about the statistics because this is this is so, so very serious in reference to what's happening now. There, there are more children in care uh Presently, then in, in and they're expecting by 2025 there will be a hundred thousand children in care, and so, so in the hands of social services. I mean that is an absolute huge, uh, you know, unbelievable number when you think about a hundred thousand children, and and they've uh, the the UK has a long term budget uh, for for these kids. And so it, it begs the question, why are they there? Why, why are they so displaced? What has happened to bring these children uh, to this? And it, there's been an increase, which represents, they said uh, uh, in, in the research I did, where there's a 36% rise uh, in children in care in the last decade, putting unprecedented pressure on an, an already very, you know, struggling uh, local authorities. And so this, this is very, very serious um, in, in reference to, uh, you know, children in, in you know, as, as far as statistics again, really, if we look at, at uh, the, the interventions to try to fix this thing, there hasn't been too many interventions. Uh, that basically there, there's been a few, but I think that the, the only thing that they can really sort this is God. 
that's we've got to we've got to get into a place of prayer so so and people have to get in that place of giving their hearts over to jesus because if kids are displaced in in care and their their parents are unable or unwilling to care for them then the parents themselves are are being in they're in captivity with the enemy they're in a place a very bad place where the enemy has control of their mind their emotions they you know they might have addictions they themselves are going to be in a place that perhaps they them they are displaced so there is there's a, a cycle there that we need to break in the name of jesus and they need to know about the love of god so this no longer happens and and families are restored and and again this can only be birthed in prayer uh go ahead abby i, I just would love to hear your feedback and then we're going to go into some scriptures about this as well it's very sad isn't it yeah. it is um the 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 bible says uh jesus said in one of the scriptures uh which is matthew 21 16 he says from the lips of children and infants the lord have called forth praise um I, I just believe that um children god loves children how do we ensure children grow up in a loving and stable environment uh you know with safe family you know how, how do we do that how, how can we make sure just like you've said that a lot of these children the statistics is in fact i when i read the statistic even though we, we've um we've done this before but the statistic of the number of children are it, they're not just reducing despite the funding that the government is putting into this, but they're increasing. The mm. number of children that's been looked after is increasing. The last two years, the pandemic make it worse, but the setting that these kids are grown in as well, why would they need to be removed from their family if they mm. were in a loving and a loving, caring relationship? Why would, you know, obviously there is something not right there for a mother to have a kid and being removed and put into care. So obviously this is all brought down to the government and the government are talking about putting in fundings into it to kind of like help. But a lot of these children are displaced themselves. The functionality of these children, by the time they go from different foster care to foster care from foster home, a lot of them go to four or five foster cares according to research. That is not a stable um, childhood. That's not a stable upbringing. So it affects these children, just like you talked about open doors. Yes, you know, so you know, talk they you know they, 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 the research talked about children in uh, 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 in, uh, in ethnic minority different backgrounds you know so obviously and from what I'd seen as well um, uh, the, the 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 last two years made the situation worse so how do we go we need to pray into this um, uh, into this and I'm just going to um, go into Jeremiah 29:11 which says God has great plans for for every one of us because He created the heavens and the earth. He has great plans for our children. But when our children grow up in an environment, Jesus Christ had a beautiful upbringing. Uh, you know, it was in a loving care environment. Moses, Isaac, we can go on. Even Samuel, you know, all these precious, beautiful. The Bible actually um, referred to their childhood. I was When I was going through the research, it's so interesting to see the childhood of these precious people and how they grew up in a loving environment. And mm. I even just have a sense of humor that when Samuel, was growing up as a child and the mother had to give um samuel um, to the priest eli to look after him he says at the age of four you know he was given to the priest age four so basically samuel started school at the age of four in a loving environment you know yeah. so it's it's so it's so amazing that so the, the the structure which the enemy had messed up the head of these kids you know that you know a lot of them are so messed up so obviously when they grow up into an adult they grow up into a messed up adult so we need to pray for them there's yes. an open door there, you know so there's so much inequality yeah you know, within the you know within within the sector in which we are in at the moment but what can we do hey we need to pray in today's to bring down you know and to pray for these children who've gone into foster care a lot of them have gone through abuse as well in uh, you know in different homes that they've that they've been to so and that really did a lot of damaging, you know, to them. But we're going to stand in prayer tonight against this. And we're going to pray for the system as well, for the government. Yes. Whatever way they need to, um, to, to, to make the system that kids who have been gone into care and not. Because a lot of these kids go for commit crime as well, Lisa. Yes. A lot of these children go into committing crime because they don't have the love 
you know, of, of the proper parent, the traditional home or bringing up children, the love is not there for them. So they don't know how to love themselves. They don't know how to behave in society as well. So no. that we're going to go into prayer and, you know, and pray. Yeah. And we're going to pray into uh, budget and funding as well for the government to be able to um, look into the policies actually that's needed as well to bring a proper structure you yeah. know, for these children. Yeah. You know, it's very pivotal as well, because if 100,000 kids are believed to be in care by the time 2025 rolls around, then then we this is this is really impacting in the United Kingdom, the next generation in a very, very large way. And uh, I remember having a prophetic dream uh, back about two years ago, uh, right at the really the right few first few months into um coronavirus and all that was going on and in it i i saw by the spirit these kids actually sitting in schoolhouses and i saw that the schoolhouses across the nation were were set in swampy places and there were snakes coming up out of the ground and wrapping themselves around their heads and and then the lord started speaking to me that the enemy had a plan whether it was curriculum coming into schools or deceptions coming into over the minds of children that they were not going to know the difference between right and wrong and so it was a warning even then and this was this was a few years ago where the lord said this is this is the enemy's plan to cause children not to understand about boundaries of good and evil and so they, they actually will operate in such displacement that they won't be able to recognize when God is calling them into their destinies. Mm -hmm. They won't be able to recognize when, when mur somebody being murdered is something, you know, a very bad thing. They won't be able to recognize when immorality is a very bad thing for society. And, and they won't know the difference they, because they're so deceived. So I think tonight we need to pray really against the spirit of Leviathan. If we look in the word of God, and this, this is right out of Isaiah 27, if, you know, if we talk, it, which talks about Leviathan. So I, I wanted to read out of that because I believe there's been a major Leviathan principality that's come coming against the children of this nation and causing them to be so displaced and so deceived by what is happening and coming upon them that they, they cannot breathe. They cannot see things by the spirit. They cannot operate as normal children that have been created as a heritage, uh, you know, as, that's what it says in the word of God. They're meant to be a heritage for us. And, and so, and let's just look at some scriptures about children, because I think it's important we do that. Uh, if, if we look in, in Psalm 127, it does say that in three through five, it says children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring. Offering or offspring a reward from him, like arrows in the hands of a warrior, and children born in one's youth. So let's think about that. This, these are those that are meant to war for things that that are righteous before God in the future, and they can no longer be in that place of being developed to be used by God because they're displaced, they're cast aside. That's Blessed right. is the man whose uh, quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend Amen. with their opponents in court. Amen. So think about that again. The, the, the enemy is trying to put them in a place of displacement and shame and deception. But it says when God gets in the picture, they'll not be put to shame. And, and they contend with their opponents in, in the court courts of heaven. Are you hearing me? When, yes. when God wants to cause them to be in a place of justice and mm. walking out their destiny. And, and yes. Proverbs 22, 6 says, uh, start children off in the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Amen. This yes. is how we need to pray. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. We need to be those that are that are binding Leviathan. And if you have your Bibles, viewers, look in, in uh, Isaiah 27. Because it says, in that day, the Lord will punish with his sword, his fierce, great, and powerful sword, Leviathan, the gliding serpent. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Leviathan, the coiling serpent. He will stay, uh, slay the monster of the sea. So we're going to slay him tonight. We're going to bind his power. We're going to cut him off from the children 
of this next generation. It says, in that day, sing about a fruitful vineyard. Praise be to God. I, the Lord, watch over it. I water it continually. I guard it day and night so that no one may harm it. Amen. This is what we need to declare morning, noon, and night over our children. They are Amen. in a vineyard, and God says that, that he will water that vineyard continually and guard it day and night so no one can harm it. Amen. And so Amen. we need to de be declaring these scriptures. So I just Amen. encourage you to get into Psalm, or sorry, the Psalms, of course, but Isaiah 27 <laughs> and declare uh, uh, over uh, this. This Leviathan that has a hold of, of the destiny of our children because we're going to turn him away from them and we're going to cause them to come into the fullness of God by our prayers Amen. tonight and by your yours and our continued prayers for the next generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Father, we thank you tonight. Lord, just as you gave me that vision a few years ago, Lord, where, where these Leviathan things were wrapping around their heads and coming from swampy places. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we bind Leviathan. We say you do not have sway. We say Amen. that they are in the vineyard of the Lord. And yes. we say that he is continually watching over them and he guards them day and night so that no one and nothing can harm them. Lord, we decree it your word we bring we come into your courtroom in, into your throne father god and we bring to your remembrance these words and lord i bring to your remembrance the vision that you gave me father god and lord they are a heritage of this nation yes, they are not meant to be in a place of displacement uh, where they don't have love or boundaries or any idea of right and wrong father mm -hmm. i ask that you would form and shape them according to the purpose that you've destined for them lord in the name of jesus Amen. to rise up father god to be a mighty standard as your word talks about in deuteronomy 28 7 that the enemy will have to flee seven ways because they are declaring right. and decreeing according to the purpose that you've given them father god in That's jesus right. name Father, that they're our heritage and they're meant to battle in the courts, Father God. That's what you say in your word, Father God, that we just read, Father God. Lord, Amen. let these little children rise up to be mighty warriors in your Amen. kingdom. Lord, Amen. let the angels protect them even now to form and shape their minds into a place of holiness. Father, let them be safeguarded, Father, Amen. by your spirit, Father God. Amen. And Lord, I ask that families would be whole and restored in Jesus' name. Amen. That the parents that have turned loose of these children would, would, Lord, be made whole and be delivered of every demonic and fleshly uh, wicked wickedness and covetedness. And Father God, all things that are keeping them in a place, Father God, of greed, Father God in selfishness lord uh, addictions father god in the name of jesus that you would intervene on behalf of these parents and lord that they would no longer look at their troubles but their solution they would find in you father amen. in jesus name amen. Amen. Lord, just as, as, as so many through, through the Bible and beyond, Lord, have found you, Lord, when all yeah. seem to be lost, Father, I cry yeah. out for these parents and these children, Father God, that there would be mighty reunions by Amen. your spirit, Father Amen. God. There would be Amen. wholeness and reconstruction, Father, and restoration. Amen. Father God, Amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would cause this Leviathan, that you would put a hook in his jaw and, yes, and pull Lord. him away and send him to dry and arid yes, places, Lord. Father God, Thank you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Amen. break the back of the enemy. Lord, I ask that you would slice and dice the scales of Leviathan, that he, he cannot hold these children fast. Amen. In Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. Lord, I release, Father, a spirit of Jehu, the warrior, Father God, to cut off every contact that Leviathan has across our nation to the children, uh, Lord, of, of this era and the, the future uh, ages, Father God, in the Amen. name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask that you would root out every wickedness, every abuse, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I've seen by the Spirit how much this grieves you, Father God. Lord, and I cry out that these children when over a hundred thousand, Lord, that there will be a turning around for them, Amen. Father. That you Amen. would cause them to be in a place of comfort and love Amen. and protection, Amen. Father God. Lord, we pray concerning the government for the social services, Father God. Yes. Lord, that yes. they have wisdom, Lord, uh, the yes. wisdom of Solomon, Father God, to know yes. how to sing. 
safeguard these children, to know how to restore entire families, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that no one fashioned against them can prosper, but Father, that you would move on behalf of these organizations, Lord, and even Christians organizations that they would be allowed to help to bring relief father god the churches would rise up father god and be a blessing the christian would rise up and be a blessing father god in the name of jesus and decree that the next generation shall stand in their place of appointment in Jesus' name and that minds will be cleared from every uh, infringement of the enemy, every wicked uh, covetousness of the enemy will be broken off in the name of Jesus. We say, Satan, back off of the next generation. Do not have sway nor authority. We declare and decree uh, by by the order of Melchizedek, Father God, that we are moving now as your children to declare and prophesy that the next generation shall be free from every bond of Amen. the enemy, Father yes, God, in Lord. Jesus' name. We thank yes. you, Lord. We give you thank praise, you, Father God. We know whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Yeah, free indeed, yes, Lord. Amen. Lord, to set these captives free, Lord. Set them free yes. and on the right yes. road, Father God, that they yes. may be able to perform great good, for, Lord, in the age that they're living, in the appointment that you've given them, in the assignments yes. and the exploits that you have in store for them. Father, yes. by your spirit, move on behalf of these dear children. Yes. Yes. And we plead the blood of Jesus over them, Father God. Yes. And we yes. ask that, that every uncleanness and wickedness that's coming through curriculum and, Lord, unclean spirits that are habitating in schools, Father God, yes. that are habitating in, in foster homes, Father God, that are habitating in children's homes, Father God, yes. 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 God. cannot rise up against these children in Jesus' Amen. name. Lord, we ask that you would root them out and send them on their way, Father God. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask that you would put a fire boundary around these children and that yes. your glory would manifest within, Father yes, God. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And Amen. we thank you, Father. We give you thank all the you, Jesus. Amen. Go ahead. Yes, Lord. Amen. Father God, we just say, um, according to your word in 3 John 1, 4, it says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Father, Lord, we lift all the children up to you, Father God. Those who are placed in foster care, those who are placed all over the place, Father God, a lot of them have issues, like functional issues, Father God. We just pray, just as Lisa had said, uh, the, uh, share the revelation, Father, about the spirit of Leviathan, Father. We come against this spirit and we cut it off from the root, Lord Jesus, Father. Yes. We pray, Lord, that it will not germinate in the heart of our children any longer, Father. Yes. Whoever the sun sets free, they're free indeed. We pray for freedom from the kingdom of darkness, Father God. We ask you, Lord Jesus, Father God, to touch our children. We pray that these children, Father, we pray against their mind and mind yes. damage all the things that the enemy had done to their mind father god we pray for a freedom a cleansing father god that you cleanse their mind we pray that we will raise children full of wisdom raise children full of integrity children full of the self god children full of boldness children full of revival and and and, and the heart of god father god we pray that we will continue to have children full of courageous and power in the holy spirit Walking in the strategy of God, Father God. Walking in your ways, oh God, Jesus of Nazareth, Father. Lord Jesus, we say that we know that what the enemy meant for evil, Lord, that you will turn it around for good. That each of these children will go, will go, will, will, will rise up, Father God, to be used for your glory, be used for your kingdom, Father God. That there will be a transition, there will be a transformation of their lives, Father God. Their lives will be transformed. We pray for salvation. We pray for redemption, Father. We pray for a cleansing of the heart, of the spirit, of the soul, of the mind, from every damages that the enemy may have done to them, Father. And we pray for parents, for families, Father God Almighty. Amen. For every family that these children are going to be placed with. We pray for a cleansing of their home, a cleanse out of God, Father, that every plan that the enemy has planned for these children, Father, we come against it by the power and the name of Jesus. We pray, we declare Jeremiah 29, 11, Lord, that you know you have great plans for your children, plan to prosper them, plan to give them a hope and expect a hand. We thank you, Lord, for your promises in Mark 10, 6. Mark 10, 16, it says, and he took the children in his hands. You place your hands on them and you bless them. We pray for your blessing upon these precious children, O God. The blessing of the soul, the blessing of the mind, the blessing of the spirit. A cleansing, Father God, Jesus, because you've not given children the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. 
We come against mental health issues, rather, yeah, in the yeah. hearts of a lot of these children. We pray for children who have grown up and gone further into prison, Lord, that in that prison, mm -hmm. Father God, yeah. you will meet with them, Lord. In that prison, Father God, they will have an encounter. In that prison, really? Father God, there will be revival, Lord. Yes, Father. The great Genesis 35, verse 5 said, Then Esau looked up and saw the women and children. Who are these with? And he said, Who are these with? He asked. Jacob answered, They are the children God has graciously given to your servant. Father, we pray that every child that yes. has gone through the care system, for every child, that yes. have to be, that you would lay your hands on them, Father, yes. and you shall declare them that they are the children that you have graciously saved, children that you have graciously, yes, Father, we agree. children that you have graciously transformed, Lord Jesus, that, that every Levitan spirit, Father God, will go yes. back to the pit of hell where he comes from, Father yes, God. Lord, 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 Lord. That your mercy would abound on these precious children, O oh God. Father, we pray yes, for Father. reconciliation with these two children and their family, Lord Jesus, Father. We pray, Lord Jesus, against hardening of heart that we see children who comes out of care. We see children who even come into the care setting that I'm in, and they talked about all the horrible things they've been through that make them uh, that that make them mental health bring mental health issues to them. Yes, Father, we yes. pray, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that Lord that you would cleanse your children. Yes. You will redeem them, Father. Redeem, yes, redeem Father, them, yes. oh God. And shut oh, every Lord. door that the enemy has opened, Father God. Turn the yes. evil agenda of the enemy, Father. Turn it around, Father God, for your good, for your glory, Father. Yes. Come and yes. manifest yourself, Lord. Let your glory, let your abound yes. in the lives of all this children, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, oh God. Because we know you will do abundantly more than we've asked for. Or even imagine that you can do yes. because all things are possible with you, Father yes. God. You're God of turnaround. You're God yes. of new beginning. You're God of new creation, Father God. We pray for recreational of new heart, of new beginning for all these your yes. children, Father God. And let the light of God, let it shine. Arise and shine. Arise and shine, children. Yes. The yes. glory of the Lord was risen upon you. Let the glory of the Lord manifest, Father God. Jesus, do only what you can do, Father God, as we intercede for the for your children, and yes. that the kingdom of God will prevail. Let your kingdom come, Father, yeah, and the God, in the lives of all your children. In Jesus' holy and mighty name, we are prayed and agree. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 People of God, uh, we we've gone through our hour pretty quickly, but I I just want to leave something with you to pray about because next Friday uh, we're we're going to be actually in conference, so we're not going to have a war room next Friday, but the following Friday we'll be starting again. And and something I'd like to leave with you to please intercede about is about what's happening with the shootings in the schools in America and to the generation of children that are being harmed by guns and gun crimes and people carrying guns and shooting children and teachers in school. And this is something that is, it's a continual pattern of things that's happening. So there, there's a twofold thing that's going on. There, there is uh, there is a lot of demonic chanting that is causing uh, there, there to be a stirring of demonic spirits uh, that causes this to happen. And there is a huge spirit of mammon that is actually uh, currently uh, causing this thing to, to uh, prosper in a way uh, of the enemy where, where basically uh, greed is entering into the hands of those that are, are corrupt in, in the in government. So basically the National Rifle Association, the NRA, is, is paying off po politicians not to change or reform laws that, that are, are not protecting children because they're allowing anyone to go in and not be screened and buy guns. And so mental health people can walk in there and buy a gun. And, and, and so we need to pray. Uh, and I'd like you to pray this next fortnight, please. And, and when we come back, we're going to really hit this with a lot of prayer. And in the meanwhile, Take it to the throne room. Stand with us as we pray about this because this corruption needs to stop. 
And the children of the United States of America need to be protected and, and people that don't need to, that, that shouldn't carry guns, shouldn't carry guns. There needs to be, if, if, the, if the laws of the land is that they are able to carry firearms and there needs to be more strict laws and who is, has the ability to do so. And the children of that land need to be protected. So, so let's pray concerning that. And as I said, when we return to you with War Room, we won't be here next Friday because we'll be in our Torchlighters uh, Fire Revival Conference, praise be to God. But And, and we ask you to join us because we'll, we'll certainly be online doing conference things. Uh, and we've got Stephen Tofir that will be on in the evening and, and we'll have loads of worship. It'll be an exciting time for all of us to be together both Friday and Saturday of next week. And, and so it starts at 2 p.m. and it runs as late as it, it runs. Hallelujah. We're just going to let the Holy Spirit move. But, but consider Concerning this issue, it's really such an important issue. I just encourage you to pray, and we'll return to it uh, next time we're back with you on War Room for the Nations. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Abby. Abby Shuby, again, what thank a blessing you, you are. And you. people of God, thank you for joining us. Pray, pray, pray. Listen, that is the answer for the nations to be transformed. God's got to come down and he will because he loves, his, they, you know, he dwells and habitates uh, with the people on the earth. And, and he made us for purpose. He made us because he loves us. And we're meant to be those that are walking in eternity with, with love, with righteousness, and with the hand of God upon our lives. Praise be to God. I didn't do that. Bless you and have a wonderful evening. Up next is is a clouds of glory, and it's going to be a wonderful time with faith and actually Ali Hilani. And I know you're going to be blessed out of out of your heads and into the heavenly realm. Praise be Amen. to God. God bless Hallelujah. you. Have Amen. a good night. Good night, Abby. Bless everyone. Have a good night. Thank you, Lisa. Night, everyone. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Now.